G'day everybody, welcome back to our playthrough of Valheim. I think it's episode 92, and in this episode we are in the middle of building our wall that's going to be sitting outside of uh, the, I guess, property uh, to defend ourselves from future attacks. Now, uh, I did say that I was going to you know, beautify the wall and all that sort of stuff at some point, but for the moment we're really just focused on building a wall that's functional. Uh, I think in terms of height we are probably good with the current height. We could always make it a little bit higher uh, when we decide to continue and beautify the wall a little bit more. We've also got uh, some semblance of a uh, farm going on down there. <laughs> I'm I'm kind of procrastinating getting back to it because uh, it doesn't really look that nice. So I have been sort of watching a few tutorials uh, on how to potentially get, uh, you know, an even better farm going. Uh, so yeah, I will come back to that. But for now, let's just focus on continuing building this wall. Uh, because I think it's been a long time coming and uh, a lot of you have really suggested to actually start the build with the wall uh, first and I've gone the exact opposite. We've got, you know, uh, all of the main uh, quarters, so to speak, uh, built up first uh, and only now are we thinking about protecting ourselves. Uh, luckily we haven't had too many big attacks. There was the incident with our boars uh, and I'm keen on not letting that happen again. We don't have any new boars for now. Um, and in fact, I'm, I'm actually still surprised that we haven't really seen a lot of boars lately. But uh, hopefully we can find a boar somewhere nearby uh, and coax it uh, into a, what will be our new boar farm. Um, it's a little bit too far. Just do that. We've got plenty of stone here, so I'm hoping that uh, we should be able to get this wall built up quite a bit. Uh, how we're going to have the wall sort of come down and sort of circle around, I'm not entirely sure. I haven't really had much uh, luck uh, or much experience building curved structures with stone. But uh, we're going to have to cross that bridge very, very soon. Uh, why can't I build another stone cutter? Maybe it's because we're not... Okay, yeah, we're not within a workbench, that's why. So why don't we fetch this workbench right here and uh, let's just bring this with us. Uh, hopefully that'll fix the problem. Let's put this here somewhere if we can. Okay, now, stone cutter. There we go. Uh, yeah, so we're going to have to continue the process of laying down all of these brick walls. Uh, also going to try and just flatten some of the soil around it a little bit. Obviously, we still want uh, as much of this uh, wall to touch the ground as possible. Um, I mean, this is already half buried within the uh, the soil. So I definitely want to try and clear up a little bit of the soil, not too much. Okay, looks good. We are going to have to repair our pickaxe very soon. Uh, but we'll cross that bridge when we're ready to cross it, really. So let's continue here.
All right, now, uh, from here, well, we've got sort of a bit of a lower ground starting to, uh, appear. Uh, it's gonna be something that we have to contend with, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, so we're gonna have to lower the, uh, the wall a little bit more. So I'm thinking something along those lines. Uh, and then maybe I'll do like a, a single one by one piece there. And maybe that's going to help us sort of lower this, uh, this wall a little bit more. Did we just use up all of our stone? My goodness. <laughs> that was way too fast. Um, I thought we had like, I don't know, like four stacks of stones already. Um, all right, we're going to need to collect some more stones. That's all right. We'll, uh, we'll get there. Let's just get our stone cutter in right next to the, uh, the workbench there. All right. Uh, I'm just having trouble remembering whether or not I actually collected more stone. Uh, and I might have stone sitting around somewhere. Uh, I think that was the only stack of stones left. So, yeah, let's try and use up all of this stone first, and then we'll, uh, you know, go and fetch some more. Alright, let's rest a tiny little bit. Now, one thing that I didn't exactly realize is, uh, building stuff actually requires a little bit of stamina as well. Um, I don't really know why that is the case. I mean, I mean, in real life, of course, I understand why stamina is required, but, um, considering the amount of stamina required, it, it's almost neither here nor there. You know, you might as well not really need to fuss over, uh, your stamina when building. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just trying to think here how far out I want to go. Um, and I'm thinking we might want to start thinking about curving down somewhere very soon. Uh, because this is, I think, sufficient space for a pig farm. So I wouldn't have to worry too much about, um, uh, you know, having a... a a really, really large area for pigs. Um, but then, do I want to future-proof ourselves uh, and have even more space for other animals? Because uh, we can also tame those wolves. Uh, so perhaps maybe if we have a fenced-off area for uh, for wolves, that might also be a good idea. Yeah. Uh, Let's try and future-proof ourselves a little bit here, guys. Uh, that way, you know, we're not going to constantly have to, uh, you know, fix the wall every single time we want to build another animal pen. Okay, we don't have any more stones. So we're going to need to fetch some more. Uh, and that is fine. Uh, I'm just thinking it is a little bit dark. So perhaps maybe we want to hold off on going out to get stones right now. Uh, let's see if we can go... Actually, I forgot whether or not this is connected to our old home or... If this is sending us outside, yeah, okay, right, it's, uh, taking us out here. Well, you know what, since we're here already, we may as well, but actually, no, I take that back. Uh, our pickaxe is running super low, we wouldn't really get too far anyway, so... Uh, let's go home. Well, by home, I mean, let's go to our other home.
All right. And uh, from here, I just want to do a quick check to see if we don't have any stones sitting around out here. Actually, we do have a little bit. That's nice. So we'll take that with us. Okay, and uh, you know, while we're here, we could think about bringing some more stuff with us. Uh, do I really need to do that right now though? Hmm. The big problem that I have is that we don't exactly have uh, a storage or dedicated storage area. Um, Uh, yeah, there is the matter of all of this that we need to also sell. I think what I might do is actually bring some treasures with us. Uh, and maybe we'll make like a, a bigger chest and put it in the bedroom. I reckon... Uh, oh, actually... You know what? I, I just thought as well, we, we probably didn't need to come all the way out here to sleep. <laughs> uh, we already have a bed in the new house. I've uh, completely forgot about that. Um, but that's okay. We, we needed to come here to repair stuff anyway. Uh, do we need to sort out the farm? Because I think maybe last time we also just completely ignored the farm. Uh, so yeah. Let, let's look into the farm right now, because I feel like if we leave it any longer, we're going to lose seeds and lose crops. So, let's sort it out. Uh, piggies. Yes, maybe we should slaughter the piggies as well. It's been a while. I was just making sure that I wasn't going to hit like the other pig there because we at least need two of them, right? Uh, last thing I want is to decimate our entire pig population here. Uh, let's drop that and... Okay, we don't have any more boar trophies. Uh, and I suppose I should chuck our, uh, our turnips in here. Okay, so, um, well, we kind of need to bring all of this produce with us, don't we? Uh, I suppose maybe we will also be using a few for seeding. Uh, I definitely misclicked there. <laughs> uh, how do I get rid of that? Um, oh, goodness me. Alright. Just gotta get rid of that. Uh, those ones are healthy. Good. Um, let's try this again. 
Alright. Very good. Uh, what do we want to feed the boars with? Maybe just a few carrots here and there. I don't think I'm gonna go too crazy on the farming this time around. Just gonna do a couple of rows of five of each, I think. And we'll leave it at that so we can get back to building a little bit more. Uh, but I am also thinking, guys, that uh, potentially sometime soon we might break things up a little bit. I know I've been doing a lot of building recently and for you explorers out there this might not be the most engaging thing. So uh, we'll take a look at doing other activities. Uh, I'm thinking of maybe going into the mountains nearby and trying to find the silver that we're going to need for uh, various things. So uh, I think that's probably a good activity to do sometime very soon. Uh, also, we don't really know uh, where we're supposed to go in the mountains to actually face off with potentially another boss, right? So uh, we also have to think about finding out where the boss is going to be uh, because I'm keen on exploring more and, uh, you know, I've, I've heard exciting things uh, may start happening once we visit the plains and, you know, the last time we even got close to the plains, I feel like uh, we struggled so much trying to fight off one of those uh, goblin looking things. I, I forget what they're called, but anyway. Yeah. Still think that we're probably not 100% ready for the planes just yet. Um, can we make some sausages? Might not be a bad idea, although do we have everything we need for sausages. Yes, we do. Running super low on entrails. Maybe we might need to go fetch some entrails from the swamps. Uh, turnips. Yeah, we've got space for turnips. Uh, looking good, I think. You know, we could probably just make ourselves some more turnip stews. And onion soups, actually, because uh, we are running low on onion soups. That should give us a little bit more space to work with when we uh, gather up more stuff from our old farm. Uh, let's maybe just split out a few things here that we don't really want to bring with us. And have a supply of stuff sitting at home. Alright, cool. Now, uh, we've got some more stone from the old house, so we can continue working right now, but as soon as we run out, uh, we're gonna have to fetch some more. So, let's do it. Uh, I feel like we might need to start thinking about going down again, one tier, potentially. So, how do we do this? Maybe we'll do it from here. Uh, 
so yeah, I spoke about future proofing. The, the question now is how much future proofing do I want to do? <laughs> um, I don't want to go overkill, but I think maybe around here. This is where we start curving down. And if we really need to, uh, you know, much, much later in the future, uh, we will have to maybe break down some of the wall and, uh, you know, extend it even further if we really, really need to. But who knows? Maybe, maybe, uh, you know, might start thinking about doing like build number four at some point. I mean, is it too early to start thinking about that? Uh, we haven't even finished build number three yet. Um, yeah, we can take some of the learnings from build number three and bring it into build number four. Uh, but again, I mean, I don't really know if that's going to happen because uh, it's a big commitment. <laughs> Let's just say that. Um, Yeah, okay, we're gonna have to extend a little bit more. All right, so let's go off and let's try and find more stones. Uh, and I think the best place for that is just where the river is, where our portal is. So uh, resourcing is what we want. Okay, so, um, we've got copper deposit here. We don't exactly want the copper. Uh, got some stones here. We may, may as well go for it here. Okay, good times. I was wondering when these guys were gonna start showing up. Seemed a little bit too quiet. Okay, let's hang on for a little bit here. Three eighty four. Okay, we can definitely still carry a little bit more.
tiny little bit more. I think we're gonna be done for a little bit, although... I mean... The trouble with this is... You think you've got a lot of stone, but then... As soon as you start working, things just, like, disappear very quickly. Uh, so... Considering that... Do we want to just bring back some stone right now and then just repeat the process? That way we can build for a little bit longer. Might not be a bad idea. Why not? Let's just do that. And, um... We'll continue gathering some more stone. You know, I can't remember if we've actually got a better pickaxe uh, to try and craft and work with. Uh, might be worth investigating next time we have to go back uh, and deal with the farm, because... You know, maybe we can make this process a lot faster. Uh, the other thing is, I know that we've got probably a decent number of iron bars sitting at... Uh, base number two and if that's the case we could maybe upgrade the pickaxe uh, to let us sort of do all of this mining a little bit faster as well okay we're almost there Okay, I think we're maxed out. Uh, just trying to think of whether or not I should again repeat this entire process. Because guaranteed we won't have enough to complete the wall. Uh, one thing that I'm also not entirely sure of right now, guys, is uh, what happens with the wall once we sort of get close to the entrance of the home. Uh, I haven't really planned out what the entrance is going to look like exactly and uh, not to mention uh, we do plan on making some form of a dock over here so we can sort of get in and out of the boat a lot faster. Uh, so yeah, a lot to think about. Uh, I'm sort of uh, maybe just going to wing it once we do arrive uh, at the front of the house. Uh, that way, you know, it's like, well, you know, we can sort of plan out the, uh, uh, the wall, I guess, a little bit more naturally. Uh, and, um, maybe we're gonna sort of rely on happy accidents, almost. Uh, to try and get us across the line. Uh, now, you might be wondering why I haven't just, like, planned everything out and 
and just stuck to one plan, well, I guess it's also because I'm a little bit desperate in getting our house protected from attacks. Because uh, all this time we've been building, I've been worried about getting attacked constantly. So, um, yeah, I, I just want to get a wall in uh, to protect ourselves a little bit more. I guess if we have to redo certain parts, maybe that's not such a bad thing. actually very close to the mountains here uh, so I am actually worried about like wolves spawning and coming after us it is also getting dark so even Fenrigs might come out and try to attack us as well here be extra careful You know, it's just really strange, aside from that one Grade War. <laughs> as soon as I mention the words, guys, they appear. Uh, but I was gonna say, we haven't seen any attacks whatsoever. Usually when we've been making this much noise, trying to mine and gather stuff, uh, they're already out in droves, especially at night. So, this whole experience, gathering this much stone the last 20 minutes or so has been kind of a weird one <laughs> okay they're all coming out of the woodwork now okay so uh, from here I think we should have a sleep and uh, we'll work from daybreak. Probably need to get some more stairs and stuff like that to join this area. Uh, we'll think about that later. Yeah, I think this episode is all going to be about just focusing on getting the wall built. Uh, I, I don't even think we're going to complete the wall in this episode. In fact, I think maybe it's still going to take us at least three episodes to build this wall. Uh, and if we break things in the middle and do something else, then it's going to take us even longer. I'm okay with that. <laughs> 
you know, things are gonna need to happen in stages. Um, alright. So, let's continue our work on the wall and try to at least get this wall curving downwards. Uh, this big slope is kind of a problem. I'm, I'm not entirely sure how to address uh, how steep it is. Uh, but anyway, we'll, uh, we'll try things and learn. Uh, I also think that it might be a good idea just to raise the ground in certain locations just around here. Alright. Um, are we going to start curving things down right now? Uh, not yet, I don't think. I think we're just going to continue going straight a tiny bit more. More onion soup. Thank you. I need a, uh, a workbench out here. deal with the flattening and stuff like that later. Um, yep, yeah, so this is where we're gonna start curving, I think. Uh, how do we achieve curved um, like walls and stuff? That is a very good question. I'm not sure how we're going to do that. Is my initial answer. <laughs> um, let's do that and let's do that. I think that makes sense. <laughs> I, I don't sound so confident. I mean, I am definitely not confident about it. Um, I suppose we have to start somewhere. I think that's okay. Uh, and then we want to just continue curving, right? Like, how do I... How do I curve things even more? We managed to get it on this corner. Hmm. Where do I use shift to try and um, clip it through? It uh, doesn't seem to be working though. What? Why did this work? Hmm. Hang on. <laughs> How? How did we manage to achieve that? Uh, I'm sort of afraid if I took this back down, I wouldn't be able to achieve the same thing again, but... You know what? That's fine. We'll, uh, we'll learn from this. Um... Yeah, okay. Uh, somehow... Somehow... Uh, we have a situation where... Uh, things are sort of attaching... Huh. 
Huh. Wait a second. So if I do that, maybe will that fix my issue? Maybe. Maybe. Uh, so I might need to sort of Okay, no, that didn't fix the problem. Huh. I wonder if it's because there's no soil underneath? Maybe... The soil is somehow helping. Yeah, okay, that is very interesting. So as soon as I put soil, it lets me sort of do what I want, regardless of whether or not the brick snapping point is already there. Um, okay, gotta take that into consideration. Let's just fix up the top here. It might be better if we just continue with the lowest part of this wall first to set ourselves up with a little bit of a guide, so to speak. Um, Yeah, I think this looks good, uh, and I've, I think we've got enough space. Because uh, we'll have pigs around here, and then if we do decide to get, like, wolves and stuff, we'll get wolves around this side. Although, you know, wolves are quite plentiful out in the wild. Uh, I think maybe we won't go in with any wolf taming unless... Uh, you know, we start leaving the mountainous region and 
you know we start moving on to other biomes um but yeah i think we've got enough space for the moment uh who knows there could be other crops that we want to grow as well so maybe i might need to expand the farm etc etc as i said if we have to uh break down all of the the walls around this side and make it a little bit bigger we'll do that eventually but now i think this is a good size uh all right so we still have enough stone i think we've got some uh so we should be able to continue our work here It is so tricky sometimes uh, when the soil's not there. Okay. Um, hopefully this makes sense. I mean, considering the slope that we're dealing with, I think we're going to have to sort of get the wall moving downwards very quickly. Uh, so I think this makes sense in my mind. Um, let's just start building things out a little bit more. So, I think we're going to need one of those pieces right there. Uh, Okay, we've used up all of our stone there, so let's fetch some more. I think we're making some pretty good progress here. And arguably, uh, you know, making this curve and, you know, descending the slope with this wall uh, is probably the most challenging part. We're going to have to repeat the process on the other side of the property as well, mind you. So... Uh... Probably want that there. Yeah, we can come back to, like, plugging the gaps with either more brick or more soil later on. Uh, but for now, just make sure that we're getting this wall in. Um, I think we might want to do something like that.
Okay, let's bring all of our workbenches down here. Okay, that was a mistake. Uh, that doesn't look like it's connecting, but maybe it's the soil sort of having an effect on it or something like that. Hang on, let's just do that and... Oh yeah, okay, that doesn't look so bad. Yeah, I'm just uh, looking at areas where we can clearly see that it's not like two blocks high, or sorry, three blocks high. And we're just going to add uh, more one by ones to reach that height. Because uh, yeah, the, the goal is to keep the trolls out primarily. Uh, I don't think wolves would be able to jump over these, right? Um, unless we've got a situation where there's a, a mound of dirt or something like that, that'll let them come in somehow. Um, anyway, let's continue. Uh, definitely having trouble trying to attach that. Um, we'll do that and we'll see if we can just attach this one down below. Maybe not. We can do that, and that might help us a little bit. There we go. I have to repeat the process here. Okay. Um, let's get a few more one by ones in. Okay, we're going to have to start thinking about curving again towards that side. Uh, just not entirely sure where we want to start that process from. Maybe from here? Because uh, my goal is to sort of have the wall come up to sort of the front of the uh, the property, like over here. Uh, I do think that at some point we're going to overhaul the entrance itself, make the entrance look a little bit nicer as well. 
uh, and we're going to incorporate uh, this wall as part of that. So uh, that's the plan, anyway. Whether or not it's executable <laughs> is a different story. Um, Right, um... And I haven't been eating our food. Should actually get a little bit of food in our bellies. I think I might actually sleep the night away here, because I don't really want to be dealing with any enemies. But uh, I'm just also sort of looking at the time here. I think... Uh, we're going to be calling this an episode very shortly. Uh, just sort of reviewing what we've done. We haven't really done too much, aside from maybe, uh, you know, doing a little bit of farming, which is kind of stock standard. Uh, this wall has really been taking up most of our time. Gathering the stones also took quite a bit of time. Unfortunate, but, you know, it had to be done. Uh, in the next episode, I might think about breaking this up a little bit and we might do a mini jaunt a mini exploration session uh, out to the mountains and uh, we'll sort of enjoy our time there gather some silver and at the same time we should be able to uh, bring home even more stones because by god we're going to need even more stones for this massive undertaking here so <laughs> but i think for now uh i'm gonna take a break and uh, come back to it hope you guys enjoyed this episode as usual leave a like a dislike or a comment or two down below stay true and i'll see you guys in the next one bye